All right, and good morning, fellow reefers. Uh, this is something that a few friends of mine have been asking me to do for a little while now. I haven't really seen anybody else do it. But um, yeah, so the temperature right now here in Charlotte is right around 57 degrees here inside of my garage. And uh, one of the things that a lot of reefers uh, like myself suffer with uh, is what to do with Chato. Uh, I have a Chato reactor and my Chato reactor um, produces quite a bit of Chato on a regular basis from my reef. And at first I used to throw it away and then I used to give it away to other reefers. And realistically, after you've given it away and thrown away as much as you can, you try to figure out another use for it. Now, my tangs love this stuff. Uh, unfortunately, it makes quite a mess though uh, if you just add it right to your tank. So uh, what I've started doing is creating um, something called Tang Sushi. Uh, basically, what I do is I take my nori and I go ahead and I wrap some of this chato inside of that nori and it becomes a self-sustaining um, food source for my tanks. So what does it take to run one of these tanks? Well, not much at all. I have a $10 Petco tank, a $25 Finex uh, plant grow light, LED light uh, from eBay, <sighs> a heater, a Hydro Corrala Nano, and that heater is set to only uh, turn on at around 70 degrees. I find the channel just fine, even as low as 65 degrees inside of here. Inside of my garage is about seven, is about 57 degrees right now. Um, but yeah, let's uh, let's make some tang, uh, tang, um, some tang sushi. So first things first, I need some chato. So all right, there we have some chato. We have a nice little square of seaweed and my magnet uh, feeder. Now, this process is actually pretty simple. What I do is I grab some of this chato out of here. I give it a couple of swishes in there. Now, on the chato itself, you're gonna see a bunch of cool little critters. Um, they make it through the swishing for the most part, but that's all right. Um, my wrasses and some of my other little critters, they love to grab all of the mice shrimp and pods stuff that's on this and this is a great way of introducing pods into your tank if you don't have any you see right behind here i have my pod farm um and i tend to grab a couple or two of this and i toss it in here you know because they really like it in there just to keep everything going and to also keep that going so it's really a, a self-harvesting it comes out of my chero reactor it goes into here these guys go into my uh my, into my main display all the time um this feeds my tang. Uh, I can't remember the last time I bought real pellet food or tang food. Uh, I picked these up from my local Asian food store. It's the same stuff that people eat. Uh, it's great for the fish too. So here's how we do it. First, I grab my little piece of seaweed, stretch out some of my chato right there. And then I just roll. Hard to do this with one hand. Well, you get the general idea, but one second, and I'll come back with uh, we have some it. fully rolled up tang sushi. Now, this does a couple of things. Number one, it keeps a lot of the chato inside of this little case that the tangs will have to eat through to get to. They'll tug at it from both sides, and they also like the sushi. All right, so some tang sushi. We're gonna go ahead and put this on the tank, and these guys know this is coming. I feed this maybe once or twice a week, I'll feed a rolled up piece of sushi, uh, a rolled up piece of nori, you know, every day, but I feed them this once or twice a week as a nice little treat. So here we are, breakfast time at Tristan's Reef. These guys know what's coming. You can see them swarming up here in the corner knowing that it's treat day. All right, so I also have some frozen food for the other guys, but um, when possible, I try to feed natural as I can. It does really great for my tangs. It keeps down any types of diseases. As you can see, they're all nice, fat, and healthy, good vibrant colors. And that's because they're getting good, 
good, clean, green food that they really enjoy. So let's add this and see how they like it. And there they go. You guys can see a ton of pods kind of scurrying off and they are going to town. Everybody likes this stuff. You see my angel up there, my rass is up there grabbing pods off of the chato. And they are just going to town. So it does create a little bit of a mess. However, if you have tangs, you have grazers and folks that love to eat things off of your pumps and off of your rock, uh, this stuff is gone and invisible within a, within a couple of hours. Um, it's great for your water. Uh, it does create a bit, bunch of particulates. <clears throat> but like I said, it's really great for the overall health of the fish.